Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to migrate a WordPress website to Microsoft's Azure Cloud Platform. So in step one of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on a Microsoft Azure virtual machine. Then in step two I'm going to show you how to transfer your domain name to your WordPress website on Microsoft Azure. And then lastly, I will show you how to migrate the database of your existing WordPress website to your new WordPress website on Microsoft Azure. So before getting started with this tutorial, you should have already created a free Microsoft Azure account. After you've done that, click the portal link at the top of the Microsoft Azure homepage. All right, now that we are at our Microsoft Azure dashboard, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the new link in the left sidebar column. And I'm going to search for WordPress in the marketplace search bar here. All right, so from the list of search results, we are going to choose WordPress certified by Bitnami. So click that and then click the Create button at the bottom of the page. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to configure our virtual machine settings. So I'm gonna give a name to my virtual machine. I'm gonna call it WP Test VM2. And I'm going to use a hard disk drive simply because solid state drives are not uh, available as an option for the low priced machines on Microsoft Azure, unfortunately. For username, I'm gonna do tuts test. For authentication type, I'm gonna use a password. And I'm going to use my uh, subscription free trial credits. For resource group, I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it USA. And for location, I'm gonna use central US. All right, so now in the machine size section, I'm going to choose the A0 standard machine. This has good performance and uh, delivers relatively good value for the price. So click select. All right, so now we're gonna configure our availability, storage, and network settings. So under the high availability section, you can leave that as none. For storage, we want to use managed disks and leave these network settings as they are. Unless you know what you're doing, you can uh, make modifications to these. Scroll down, uh, make sure that auto shutdown is set to off and then click the OK button at the bottom of the page. All right, so the last thing to do is to look over your virtual machine uh, settings and look over the terms of use, make sure all your details are correct. And finally, you can click the create button at the bottom of the page to create your virtual machine. And now you can see here, the virtual machine is deploying. And this usually takes a couple of minutes. All right, so now that our WordPress virtual machine has been successfully deployed, the next thing we have to do is to obtain our WordPress credentials. So to do that, click on your virtual machine here. And in the left sidebar column, scroll down to the boot diagnostics section and click on it. And with your keyboard, click Control and F to open up the search field. And in the search field, you're gonna look for password. And you can see here, we have our WordPress password. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the password. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to scroll back to the top of the left sidebar to the overview section. And I'm going to take note of this public IP address. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this public IP address and I'm going to paste it into a new browser window, just like I did here. 
So I've already po uh, pasted it here, and I'm going to add wp-admin just like this, and press enter, and this will bring you to the WordPress login page. So your username is just user, and in the password field, you're going to paste the password that you copied from the boot diagnostics log and then click the login button. And there you go, you've successfully launched WordPress on Microsoft Azure. All right, so now that we've successfully installed WordPress on a Microsoft Azure virtual machine, the next thing we have to do is we have to transfer our domain name to our new WordPress website on Microsoft Azure. So let's get started. So at the top of the Microsoft Azure homepage, click on the portal link. All right, then click on your virtual machine. Then in the overview section here, uh, copy your public IP address. Then head over to the left sidebar column and click on the new link. In the marketplace search bar, search for DNS zone. All right, then click on DNS zone and click the create button. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're gonna create a new DNS zone. So in the name field, enter the domain name that you wanna to point to your website on Microsoft Azure. So I'm gonna use the domain onepagezen.com and under subscription, I'm gonna use my free trial credits. And for resource group, I'm gonna use my existing USA resource group and then I'm going to click the pin to dashboard box. And then I'm going to click the create button. And this typically takes a couple of minutes for the DNS zone to deploy. All right, so after the DNS zone has been deployed, you're going to click on it. So the first thing we have to do is we need to create a new record set. So click the record set link at the top of the page. And I'm going to leave the name field blank. It's going to be a, a record. And TTL is going to be 300 seconds. And I'm going to paste the IP address that I copied from the overview section in the last steps. And click the OK button. All right, so that was successful. Now I'm going to create another record set, and this is going to be a CNAME record. So I'm gonna choose CNAME for type. Then in the name field, I'm gonna do www. TTL is going to be 300 seconds. And the alias is going to be my root domain, which is onepagezen.com. Click OK. And there we go, our records are configured. All right, so now that we've set up our DNS zone successfully, the next thing we have to do is we have to point our name servers to our DNS zone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy my name server one, and I'm going to head over to my domain name provider. You can see here I'm using namecheap.com and I'm gonna scroll down and here where it says name servers, I'm going to choose custom DNS and I'm going to enter that first name server. I'm pasting it there. I'm gonna go back to my Azure DNS. I'm gonna copy the name server two and I'm gonna paste that one and just repeat. I'm gonna copy name server three, paste it, and copy my name server four, 
paste it, and then click the save icon. Now, regardless of who you're using for your domain name provider, you're gonna have a very similar configuration uh, when it comes to configuring your name servers. All right, so now that your name servers have been configured, the next thing you have to do is to test that your uh, website is loading properly. So open up a new private window and enter your domain name in the URL bar. And if everything's configured properly, you will be directed to your application's homepage. So for me, I'm using WordPress. I'm running WordPress and this is my WordPress homepage. So it looks like everything is configured properly. Now, if you were to go to your uh, WordPress dashboard, to your settings, you would notice here in your WordPress URL and site address URL fields that your domain name is set without www dot in front. Now that's just fine. If you wanna leave it that way, you don't have to make any changes. However, if you do want your website to be served with www dot yourdomain.com, then I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So minimize your WordPress settings page and go back to your uh, Microsoft Azure dashboard. Then click on your virtual machine and click the connect icon at the top of the page. And now you're gonna highlight your SSH command and then you're gonna click the cloud shell icon at the very top of the page to connect to the terminal. All right, so now that you've connected to the terminal, you're going to paste that SSH command and enter your password. All right, now we are connected to our server. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to open up my uh, server's configuration file. Now for Bitnami stacks, your configure uh, configuration file path will look like this. And all of these uh, commands are listed on this tutorial's uh, page at onepagezen.com. So I'm going to press enter to open up the configuration file. And I'm going to go down a little bit here under virtual host 80. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste uh, three lines of code and what these lines are of code are going to do is it's going to tell my server to only uh, serve our website with the www dot prefix. So I'm going to paste that and then I'm going to do control X and then Y and enter. So that saved the uh, file and my new settings. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run a command that's gonna restart my Apache server. So I'm going to paste that command, press enter. Perfect. Now if I were to go back to my site here and refresh the page, or just do onepagezen.com, press enter, and you'll see here that our website is now being served with www. All right, so now that you've successfully transferred your domain name to your WordPress website on Microsoft Azure, the last thing we have to do is we have to migrate the database of our existing WordPress website to our new location on Microsoft Azure. So in this example, I'm gonna be transferring my existing WordPress website at onepagezen.org to my brand new WordPress website at onepagezen.com. So the first step in this tutorial is to head on over to your existing WordPress website and go to your dashboard. Then go to your plugins and go to add new. And the plugin we're going to be using is called All in One WordPress Migration. So once you found that plugin, click on install now. And then click on activate. Now in the left sidebar column, 
scroll over the plugin and go to the export link. All right, now we're going to add a couple conditions here. So we're going to enter our existing uh, WordPress URL in the find field. So one page zen .org, and we need to replace that with one page zen .com, because this is the destination for the WordPress website. So once you've done that, click on the export to link and then click on file. All right, then click the download button. All right, now while our file is downloading, what we're going to do is we're gonna head on over to the new host where we're transferring our website to. So I'm going over to my new WordPress website at onepagezen.com. I'm gonna to go to my dashboard and to plugins and add new. And I'm going to install the same plugin So I'm going to click install now and activate. All right, now in the left sidebar column, I'm going to go to import. All right, so once the file has finished downloading, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the import from link here and we're going to choose file and then locate the file that you just downloaded. So locate this file and click on open. And now it's going to be importing the website. Now this typically takes a couple of minutes. Now I should also mention that if your website file is over 512 megabytes, you will have to make an adjustment to one of the plugin files in order to increase the allowed upload file size. So I will show you how to do that in a different tutorial if you're interested the link to that tutorial is in the description to this video. All right, so once you see this import process message pop up, just click on the proceed button. All right, so our data has been imported successfully and we're good to go. So now that you've imported your new website, there is a chance that you might have to log in to your site again. And the password that you're going to use is the existing password from your old website. So remember that if you are prompted to log in again, you have to use the password from your old website. So if you click on your homepage, you will see that your website was imported successfully. And the next, next thing you have to do, or the last thing you have to do, is go to your settings and just look over your uh, permalinks. So let's see, let's go to our permalinks here and make sure that uh, post name is selected. This is generally considered the best practice for your website's SEO. So we'll click on save changes. And there you go, you've successfully imported a WordPress website to your new hosting provider. And there you go. Now that you've completed the migration tutorial, your WordPress website is fully configured on Microsoft Azure. Now, one last thing is that if you need to migrate a WordPress database that is larger than the plugin limit of 512 megabytes, I have a tutorial which is linked to in the description to this video that shows you how to increase that limit to 10 gigabytes. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my social media pages. Lastly, if you're interested in exclusive tutorials, don't forget to join the One Page Zen mailing list at onepagezen.com. Also, while you're there, be sure to check out the other great cloud computing tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.